Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to Podcastage. My name's Bandrew, and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today, I am testing out this guy, the Rode Procaster, as requested by our viewer, Anmar AJ, about 11 months ago. So the Rode Procaster is an XLR dynamic microphone, which means it doesn't require phantom power to work, and I am connecting it to my computer using the Zoom U44 audio interface, and my gain is set at about 80%. If you are planning on picking up this microphone or any other dynamic broadcast mic, I do recommend picking up a cloud lifter. What this does is takes the phantom power from your interface and boosts the signal by 25 decibels. And when I did that, I was able to drop my gain down to about 25%. And lastly, if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about $230 on Amazon. And as per usual, I'll throw in a link in the description down below. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Obviously, you get the microphone. You get the microphone mount. You get a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. You get a carrying pouch. You get some documentation, a 10 year warranty, and another damn sticker. So as far as the build quality, this thing feels absolutely amazing. It has an all metal construction. It has some really nice weight to it. And in all honesty, it feels like you'd be able to beat somebody to death with this thing and it would still work. The microphone mount is nothing special. It is all plastic and offers zero shock absorption. But when we look at the internals of the microphone, there is an internal shock mount and also an internal pop filter. As I already mentioned, this is a dynamic XLR microphone, meaning it does not require phantom power. It has a frequency response of 75 hertz to 18 kilohertz. It has a cardioid polar pattern, which we'll test in just a second. It has a sensitivity of negative 56 decibels, and it has an impedance of 320 ohms. Now let's go ahead and do some tests. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and move around the Rode Procaster and determine what the actual polar pattern is and how it picks up my voice as we move into different orientations around the microphone's capsule. Okay, now I am banging on a keyboard directly behind the microphone to determine how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Okay, now I am one foot away from the Rode Procaster. Now I'm about two feet away from the Rode Procaster. Now I'm about four feet away from the Rode Procaster. Okay, now I've connected the Rode Procaster to my computer using a $10 XLR to USB cable. <laughs> now, I would not personally do this because buying a $230 microphone and connecting it with basically a $10 interface Borderline seems like blasphemy to me, but I know people would ask in the comments if this would work, so I just figured I would include it and show you if it does or does not work. I dragged this lake, looking for corpses, dusted for prints, pried up the floorboards. So on the electric and the acoustic guitar, I thought it sounded decent, but personally, I wouldn't use this microphone for instruments. But on the voice, I thought it sounded awesome. It has a really nice low end that's really tight and full, and then the high end, there's some really nice presence that gives your voice a little bit of shine. I also thought it did amazingly at eliminating background noise. As I was banging on the keyboard and talking at the same time, you could hardly hear the keyboard and as I moved off axis, my voice dropped off pretty drastically. So I would absolutely recommend this microphone if you're looking to bump up your audio game for voiceovers or your podcast, but pretty much only if you're gonna have a decent interface and maybe if you pick up the cloud lifter as well. If you're not that serious about your voiceover or your podcast, I don't think it's really necessary to invest $230 in this microphone and then another $150 for a cloud lifter. All right, guys, well, I guess that'll do it for today. If you have any more questions about the microphone go ahead and leave them in the comments down below and i'll try to get back to you if you found this fun interesting or helpful thumbs up if you thought it sucked thumbs down if you want more of these videos subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner and don't forget to vote for the microphones that you want reviewed next as well as follow me on all the social media stuff links to everything in the description down below i will see you all next time thanks for watching bye